Onbarian is a strategy puzzle game based on the mechanics of chess. It was released by publisher J4NW in 2021. As far as I can tell, this is the publisher's first release. Onbarian uses chess mechanics as a springboard and starting place for the game. The board is the same as chess, and you draw a hand of chess pieces, like pawns, knights, and queens, and use them to move and attack enemies. You can collect coins and spend them at shops to upgrade the cards with bonus effects like increased health or splash damage. You move through stages of the dungeon and encounter a variety of enemies with different attacks and abilities. Some are immune to damage until certain conditions are met. Others leave a trail of poison behind. Ponbarian is hard, and even with many hours spent playing chess and solving chess puzzles, it took me numerous attempts to finish the first dungeon. There are a total of three adventures to choose from, as well as a helpful tutorial. Pawnbarian has six playable character classes, each with different decks and abilities. There is the Brave Pawnbarian, great for new players to start with, the Holy Knight Templar, who can use their two knights to gain extra energy, the Fearsome Shogun, with their powerful Dragon Drop ability, the Wandering Nomad, adept at ranged attacks, the Capizerka, part Capybara, part Berserker, and reminiscent of one of the game's enemies. And finally, the Mystic, who uses wards for extra defense. As you complete the different dungeons with each player, you unlock chains, which can be selected to make further runs more difficult, increasing the replayability of the game. I think Pawnbarian is a good game to reinforce the movement and basic mechanics of chess pieces for beginners can also serve as a fresh take for seasoned players when they feel stuck in a rut playing games of normal chess. I certainly had fun using the familiar pieces, but with new mechanics and interactions. Pawnbarian is good to unwind with a quick run. The game is difficult, and an average run can take 10 or 20 minutes to complete. Not that much longer from a standard game of rapid chess. When playing Pawnbarian, I am reminded that chess is perhaps the first grid-based game that I ever played. In a sense, many grid-based adventure games are inspired by, or at least similar, to chess. It's nice to see a game lean into this comparison, and in a way that seems clean and effortless. I have always loved grid-based RPG games, and perhaps my love of chess is the root of this. Another interesting facet of Pawnbarian is that it is technically a card or deck-building game. Your hand of pieces seems secondary to the chessboard, but proper planning and analysis is critical, just like in other games of the same genre. Deciding which cards to upgrade and when can be the difference between a successful adventure and defeat. The visual layout of Pawnbarian is simple, but supports the game well, does a good job invoking a fantasy setting, and borrows many mechanics from standard RPG games. When I play Pawnbarian, I am reminded of another similar game, the mobile game Hoplite. I used to play this game a few years ago on mobile, and while it is less chess-like, it has many similarities to Pawnbarian. Hoplite is also a game where you progress through floors and defeat enemies, slowly upgrading your character and abilities. Instead of being inspired by chess, Hoplite borrows from Greek mythology and uses a hexagon-based grid. These days, the majority of games that I play are roguelikes. These games are great for a quick session with increasing complexity and difficulty over the course of many runs. It fits my busy schedule and allows me to have fun playing without worrying too much about time commitments. One feature of roguelikes is that you have to embrace defeat and learn from each run. At the start, you will lose often, but as you continue to play, the runs will last longer and longer, culminating in the long-awaited victory. Pawnbarian is a great quick puzzle game, and I think fans of chess or roguelikes will have fun playing it. Thanks for listening, and happy playing.